YouTube friends, what's going on? David Lee back, brand new video. Today we're talking about my favorite way to stabilize handheld footage using the Easy Rig. Now you may have seen what an Easy Rig looks like before. Uh, kind of looks like this Ghostbuster backpack looking thing without the ghost busting capabilities. But the Easy Rig was designed for heavy cameras originally that you can use for handheld footage. It's essentially a harness that straps around your body and it has a, a tension cable that holds the camera in place. It takes all the way down towards your core, towards your, um, your hips and your legs, so that way you can use your entire body to brace and hold the camera system. And that's why the Easy Rig has made it essential for handheld filmmaking, um, all the way from the highest end productions to you know, your budget friendly productions. Now you may be asking yourself, well, you know, why exactly would I want to use a Easy Rig for a handheld filmmaking, right? When it comes to handheld footage, right, there's like the ultra chaotic versions of, of handheld footage, like say with a fight scene, um, or something very chaotic like uh, buildings falling down and debris flying everywhere, right? Maybe you want that that uh, ultra chaotic uh, version of it. But say for the times when you don't want the intense chaotic versions of a handheld filmmaking, that's where the easy rig comes in. Say for instance, you want to orbit around your talent, you know, swinging profile, the easy rig is going to get you more stabilized footage than if you were trying to, you know, handheld handhold your camera purely, um, or even with a shoulder mount system. Another example is um, with over the shoulder shots, right? You have two talents, you need to capture their dialogue and also maybe some of their performance as well. With the Easy Rig, it's going to get you that slight subtle movement that um, it's almost as if you were right there behind them um, viewing what they're saying, viewing um, their, their emotionality, right? And that's really why the Easy Rig is used in so many different types of productions, right? Is you want that, that visceral feel, um, but you don't want it to be uh, uncontrolled, right? Now the Easy Rig isn't going to replace um, your glide cam, your gimbal, your slider, or even your tripod. Every tool in your toolkit is for a specific purpose. Um, for a glide cam, for a gimbal type system, you want ultra smooth motion. Maybe you want also to do a very long take going from you know one side of, of, of a street to the other side of a street, up into um, an office area and so on and so forth, right? Um, perhaps a steady cam, glide cam, or gimbal is better in that situation. Perhaps you're doing a product shot, you want it to be ultra smooth, you want it to you know, glide in nice and easily. Um, a slider would probably be the best tool for that specific purpose. And tripods, right? If you're doing like an interview type setup, could be documentary, could be um, a testimonial. You don't want the camera to move at all. In that instance, you want it to just be locked down. The tripod is going to be your best tool for that specific purpose. Now, some of the strengths of the Easy Rig is longer duration of filming, right? Um, say, for instance, you're filming a documentary, it could be completely verite where you have to follow around one person or it could be you know 10 people. Um, the Easy Rig is going to give you uh, whatever camera package you have, you're able to hold it for you know 30 minutes, 60 minutes two hours if needed, right? Obviously it depends on your physical capability, um, but it's a lot easier to hold a medium sized camera, heavier sized camera with an easy rig, following people around, getting low angle shots, high angle shots, um, eye level shots, uh, swinging profile, right? Um, it's gonna give you the opportunity to keep continuing to film, to capture the moments that are super important without having to put the camera down. Another strength is for commercial filmmaking, right? Say you're doing like a fitness commercial, could be um, a product commercial, you have a talent, uh, she's going up the hill and then across the field. Um, you have to follow her in a manner where you know you want that handheld filmmaking, you want it to be stable, uh, but you also want to be able to capture the moments as they're happening. That way you give your talent enough time to um, you know, fulfill their performance. All right, so I figured it would probably be a good idea for me to show you how to use an easy rig um, some of you have already you know, used Easy Rig plenty of times. Maybe it's your first time looking at an Easy Rig. So I wanted to show you exactly how I set mine up, um, how I use it, and then again, why I'm using this whole thing in the first place. So let's start with the Easy Rig itself. Right now, um, it pretty much comes like as is, although this top part, which is like the, um, the, the top pillar, does come off. So you'll get it like this. So it has two straps, one for the chest area, one for the, like, the waist and the hip area. All right, so you put it down. Then you make sure the pillar is on, right? The back side has the tension, so you can either loosen the tension or you can increase the tension. And that basically increases the tension of the, um, of the tension wire here, right? So if you have a heavier camera, then the more tension you want. All right, so you put this guy in like so, all right? And then 
we buckle up, safety first, and then we buckle up, all right? Now you can loosen both the waist area and the chest area. You just get it nice and snug how you want it to. Now when you get the Easy Rig, it doesn't come with this additional clamp accessory here. Um, I'll show you guys what this is. I'll tell you guys what this is in a moment. Um, but for now, when you have the Easy Rig, you bring down the tension cable, and then when you push this lever up here, that's how you can hang or attach your Easy Rig uh, to your camera, um, specifically a top handle. All right, so you got your camera. It could be whatever camera it is that you have. And then you bring down tension cable. Now this is why I use the additional clamp accessory is because right now, as you can see, I'm kind of like two-handing this thing, which isn't the easiest thing to do. You clamp it on, and then you kind of have to finagle it a little bit to get it to where you need it to be. And then boom, right? Now you have your easy rig set up, good to go. And that being said, I'll show you guys what the S2 clamp I have does. Now the S2 clamp is basically um, a way you can attach your easy rig um, more, more efficiently is, is at least the way I found it. Um, so you need a carabiner, a frog bean carabiner on your top handle, or if you don't have a top handle, um, as long as you have a quarter 20 or three fourths hole, then you can attach um, the S2 clamp. The S2 clamp is uh, from SimMod. Uh, they make uh, Cine Mod services and products that you can find online. I have some of their accessories, like their EF lens um, rear caps. I have also their front caps, um, but this is the first guy that I ever got from them. So what it does is you bring down your tension cable and then this goes in instead of on top of your easy rig, right? From here, you push up these two uh, clamps here and then cool thing here, right? So before I was like finagling everything with like two hands and holding it. Maybe you have an AC, maybe you don't. Sorry for the birds. I don't know why they're um, overly excited today. But anyways, you bring this in, right? And then all it does is it clips in, boom. And now, you are pretty much good to go. All right, so now all of your handheld footage is more stabilized. Um, the way you're gonna be filming with the Easy Rig is not like, you know, this way. You're gonna be filming um, sideways. So you are like adjacent to the actual camera system, right? And from here, you can get your high angle shots. You can get your, you know, eye level shots. Uh, if you wanna go down, you can go down and then you can get your, you know, low angle shots. Uh, if you need to go a bit higher, then you adjust your monitor and so forth and then you can get your uh, higher angle shots like this right and then when you you know say your um, the director says cut or something needs to be changed some furniture needs to be changed maybe um, a lens needs to be changed you need to put the camera away um, from here if you need to hold on to the camera because you know like in a minute or in two minutes you need to start shooting again then you can just you know take a little break take a little breather Go on, go on your cell phone or something, or be talking to someone uh, without having to put the camera down. And then, you know, when they say picture up, okay, cool, like you're ready to go. Lens, filters, everything has been changed or swapped out. Um, furniture has been adjusted, makeup has been adjusted. Right, you're ready to start filming again. Now, one last thing about the Easy Rig is you wanna make sure that it's the right tension for your camera system, right? This could be a different camera, different lens, different battery options, all that kind of stuff, right? If the tension isn't appropriate, then the Easy Rig will start to like droop down. If I let go, right? Right now I have it the right tension because it's not moving up, it's not moving down. If you don't have um, the right tension, if it's too loose, then you'll notice when you let go of the easy rig, then the camera will start to like droop down and then it'll find its natural tension height, right? It might be here or something like that, right? You wanna just like um, a gimbal or just like your glide cam, no matter what axis it's on, it's going to stay put for the most part, right? So right now it's low, staying put. If I bring it up to uh, natural height, all right, staying there. If I bring it up a little bit higher, then it's staying there, right? And that's pretty much how you want um, your Easy Rig setup. Now, the Easy Rig can be used in so many different applications, right? It could be used for a music video. Um, it could be used for, say, like a fight scene or martial arts choreography. Um, there are certain ways where you can use handheld filmmaking to your advantage. But if you have a camera without any kind of like stabilization, without any kind of you know, points of contact with your body at least, you're gonna get all those micro jitters that you always see from, um, you know, footage that isn't used with an easy rig. Now, obviously you always have like, you know, a shoulder mount system, which is always a great way to, again, stabilize handheld filmmaking. Um, but with the shoulder system, a lot of times like you have to do this to hold the camera up, or if you don't have, you know, a proper system, uh, then you need to use something else to kind of hold the camera up. Um, whether, again, that's like a lightweight camera, small camera, or a heavier camera. 
I prefer the easy rig because if I do have the easy rig, I can always put it on my shoulder and then take it off my shoulder when I need it. Now the folks at Easy Rig do have a few different products um, from the Easy Rig Mini Max, which is what I own. That's the like the kind of lowest tier version of the Easy Rig and also the most affordable one. And that goes up to their Vario 5 system, which is meant for heavier camera packages. And the Easy Rig Mini Max holds up to about 15 pounds. Um, so for me, the heaviest camera system I've used with my Mini Max um, has been an Ursa Mini Pro uh, with a 95 watt hour battery in the back, uh, five inch monitor on top, and also a Canon 70 to 200 f 2.8 L lens, right? That's around 15-ish pounds. And holding that for, you know, five, six hours filming a football documentary, I was able to use the Easy Rig to get, again, handheld footage that I needed stable. Now the cost of the Easy Rig Mini Max is uh, $12.59. That's pretty expensive compared to, you know, like a DJI S uh, gimbal or any other type of gimbal that's around that $500 to $700 range. But again, I stress that every uh, tool is for a specific purpose. You know, like your slider won't replace your gimbal, your gimbal won't replace your slider, your easy rig won't replace your gimbal, your gimbal won't replace your easy rig, right? They're different tools. And that's the great thing about filmmaking in general, but specifically handheld filmmaking, is when you want, you know, stabilized footage, when you want to be able to follow people around, um, get quick action shots, the easy rig is going to allow you to move freely, right? Just like a gimbal allows you to move freely or a glide cam allows you to move around freely. Now, all that being said, the easy rig is honestly my favorite piece of filmmaking gear that I own, right? Um, talk about lenses and cameras and lights and, and all sorts of things, right? Computer systems. Um, the easy rig has been the one thing that I felt has given not only my productions um, higher value, but it's also number one, it saved them like my back, right? From having to film with heavier cameras and longer durations. Um, it also has allowed me to do handheld filmmaking, which I love um, at a much higher level. So if you guys have any questions in regards to the easy rig or at least the mini max, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to respond to you. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel as always, just so you know if I have new content coming out. And remember friends, every day you have an opportunity to create your experience and to write and tell your own story. My name is David Lee, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.